हेलो हेलो हाय एवरीवन गुड आफ्टरनून गाइस गुड आफ्टरनून संयुक्ता गुड आफ्टरनून गाइस ऑल राइट ओके सो वेलकम टू द शॉर्ट सेशन एवरीबडी ऑन इमेजेस ऑफ पी एस एम ऑल राइट इट्स अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सेशन सो लेट इस क्विकली बिगिन दिस सेशन आई एम डॉक्टर नेहा योर मेंटर एंड गाइड फॉर पी एस एम एन एन अकेडमी प्लेटफॉर्म Just give me a thumbs up if I'm audible to all of you, everyone. Can you hear me? Right? You can hear me, everybody. Okay. At An Academy, we've just started two batches on twenty eighth of April, guys. One is the NEET PG Season One batch, and the other is the FMG Test and Analysis batch, guys. All right. So in the NEET PG Season One batch, uh, three seasons have been planned for the postponed NEET PG exams. The first season. will cover high yield topics case based the second one image based questions and the third one test and analysis okay also it will be followed followed by uh, uh live interactive sessions am i not audible all right i think i'm audible just refresh it everyone once you'll be able to hear me all right center okay all right and also we are doing a fmg test and analysis batch which has started on 28th of april so all these are your wonderful educators who are going to teach you and if you want you can subscribe to any of these batch courses and you can use my code psm live and get a 10% off as well all right and we are also offering you with this uncertainty of the neat pg and of inict and all the exams which is around us we are offering you one month additional subscription one month free subscription for three month subscriptions okay so if you take three month subscription today you'll get one month subscriptions free one month extra will be credited to your account so this is an amazing opportunity you can again use my code PSM live and get a ten percent off on any of your um, subscriptions on any Academy guys. All right, and here are the limited time offers uh, for if anybody is looking for subscription for thirty six months, twenty four months, eighteen or twelve months, you can go for the iconic subscription guys, which is Prep Ladder and an Academy both at discounted rates. All right, so if you see twelve month, you'll get it for forty thousand five hundred, and if you want, you can take an additional ten percent off. By using my code PSM Live, is that is that okay, everyone? Also, we have thirty four K carefully curated questions for PG, which is now available on An Academy. So you can continue with your practice on An Academy platform. Just download the An Academy app, enter Neat PG, and all you have to do is uh, take your subscriptions. Right? All right? Okay. It's also available on EMI, as you can see. So these are the various price ranges. All right. So let us begin now. So the very first uh, question, everybody, we have a lot of images to discuss today. So the first one, tell me, when is the uh, from this particular image negative demographic gap? कब देखा जाता है? Early stage of stage two, a uh, late stage two, stage four, stage five, late stage three. Come on, start putting your answers, everyone. Very good, very good, Sadaf. The negative demographic gap. All right. Now look at stage one and stage four. Stage one me kya hota hai? My crude birth rate. Here I'm going to just make for everyone stage one. All right. No, not late stage two. It's in stage five. The demographic gap is negative. Jaise stage one me kya hota hai? If you have CBR and CDR in stage one, both CBR and CDR are high. So the population is stable, and this is known as high stationary. All right, is that clear? In stage two, what happens? In stage two, my CBR is still high, but CDR. Look over here. This CDR, the blue color one, it starts to decline. All right. So the population is going to what? It's going to expand, and this stage is known as late expanding. Everybody. Sorry, this is known as early expanding. Okay, then what happens in stage three? In stage three, guys, my CBR also starts to decline. Like you can see here, all right, this purple color and CDR is already declining. So this is declining. This is also declining. But the speed at which my CBR declines is much less than the speed at which CDR declines. Therefore, the population is expanding, but it is known as late. 
एक्सपैंडिंग एवरी वन इंडिया इज इन विथ स्टेज पुट इन द कॉमन सेक्शन इंडिया कौन से स्टेज में है देन फाइनली इन स्टेज फोर वॉट हैपन्स इन स्टेज फोर बोथ सी बी आर एंड सी डी आर कंटिन्यू टू डिक्लाइन बोथ ऑफ दैम आर लो एंड द पॉपुलेशन स्टेबलाइज एंड दिस इज अगेन नोन एज लो stationary all right and finally what happens in stage 5 everybody look at this five this cdr has become stable or is declining very slowly okay or declining very slowly theek hai and aapka jo cbr hai that can go on to decline to whatever level possible okay therefore it looks over here like कि आपका सी डी आर इज मोर देन सी बी आर बट एक्चुअली दैट्स नॉट द केस सी बी आर कैन गो ऑन डिक्लाइनिंग टू एनी स्टेज एंड सी डी आर इज लाइक ऑलमोस्ट स्टेबल और इट हैज बिकम स्टेशनरी सो दिस इज वॉट इज स्टेज फाइव स्टेज फाइव इज द डिक्लाइनिंग फेज एवरीबडी सो नाउ इफ यू लुक ओवर यर वेर इज द डेमोग्राफिक गैप मिनिमम एवरी वन पुट इन द कॉमन सेक्शन डेमोग्राफिक गैप मिनिमम कहाँ पे है वेर इज द डेमोग्राफिक गैप मिनिमम गाइज दैट्स मिनिमम इन स्टेज वन ओवर हियर डेमोग्राफिक गैप इज सी बी आर माइनस सी डी आर स्टेज वन एंड स्टेज फोर ऑल राइट देन वेन डज द डेमोग्राफिक गैप मैक्सिमम वेन इज द डेमोग्राफिक गैप मैक्सिमम एवरीबडी maximum is over here all right the late part of stage 2 late stage 2 all right and when is the demographic gap starting to contract guys when does it start contracting so when does it starts contracting it starts contracting in early stage 3 All right, in this part, it starts contracting over here, early part of stage three. And where is the demographic gap negative? So the demographic gap negative is in stage five. All of you understood demographic cycle, which is one of the most commonly asked questions. All right, so demographic gap is negative in stage five. So you could be asked any of the stages, and you could be asked what is happening in each of these stages. Thumbs up, everyone. Let's proceed to the next one can we go to the next question everyone all right the next one splash proof aprons then i'm going to show you the image tell me where do you discard the splash proof aprons is it disposed in yellow bag red bag blue bag or white bag the splash proof aprons it's splash proof let me have a few more answers to this question please everybody sadaf has answer let's see some of the more answers to this question splash proof aprons aap kis bag mein dalte ho very good khushwaha sadaf everybody all right the splash proof aprons since it's splash proof it will go into red color bag so just for your um, just for your uh, uh, revision look over here pp disposal when you have the masks n95 triple layer head cover cap shoe cover disposable linen gowns all of them go into the yellow color bag but when you have goggles face shields splash proof aprons gloves hazmat suits all of them go into red color bag so the splash proof aprons also go into the red color bag clear everyone okay now which committee gave the concept of pris anybody what is pri panchayat raj institutions so this is a very important mcq all right this is a very important mcq no khushwa it's not like that that they're keeping everything into red bag nahi actually kya hota hai na suppose for any patient if we have a home isolation setup at homes we can have maximum yellow and black color bag so whatever we have of the patients will go into the yellow color bag but in hospitals you still have yellow red black uh, yellow red blue and white color bags okay so anything which is plastic is going into the red color bag but anything like you have these mask head cover shoe cap all these will go into yellow color bag only is that clear akash all right okay i hope you understood ठीक है दिस इज पंचायत राज इंस्टीट्यूशन ऑल राइट नाउ पंचायत राज इंस्टीट्यूशन वॉज गिवेन बाय बलवंत राय कमिटी हाउ डू वी रिमेंबर दिस सी द फुल नेम ऑफ बलवंत राय इज एक्चुअली बलवंत राय मेहता कमिटी ठीक है 
all right balwant rai mehta committee all right so this has three letter words in it like three words in it one two three panchayat raj system is a three tier system i hope all of you remember what is panchayat raj system everybody three tier system that links the rural local self government okay rural local self government okay of the villages to the districts what do we have at the district level everybody very good sayukta what do you have at the district level at the district level you have the jila jila parishad okay at the block level you have the panchayat samiti anything can come as an mcq from this particular slide okay and at the village level what do you have at the village level you have the gram sabha all right you have the nyay sabha and you also have the gram sabha nyay sabha and you have the nyay gram panchayat yes very good you also have the gram panchayat is that clear and how do you remember it balwant rai mehta has three letter words in it three words in it so panchayat raj also is a three tier system given by this theek okay? hai what did kartar singh give everybody in the comment section how have we studied it kartar was a punjabi so he believed everybody should work in team so he gave the concept of multi purpose workers you remember all right for shrivastava everybody just reverse this rhs all right rhs kya ho jata hai rural health services scheme so just reverse shr ko reverse kar do rhs so this is rural health services scheme all right and krishnan committee was for which areas the urban areas he spoke about focusing on the urban areas all right so this was a quick revision of the committees as well as well as the image of panchayat raj this thing all right let's go to the next one which point in the natural history of disease marks the onset of scheme yes urban remapping scheme was given by krishnan committee so here which point in the natural history of disease marks the uh, um, onset of symptoms is it a b c d or e everyone quickly tell me in the comment section very good so this see this point natural history of disease kya hota hai how a disease evolves how a disease progresses okay how a disease progresses without what how a disease progresses without any interventions okay if i do not do any intervention how is it progressing so this is without any intervention so this stage the stage of susceptibility is the stage which is happening where in the environment right everyone and this is the one which is happening in the human so environment mein jo phase hota hai isko kya bolte hain this is known as pre pathogenesis phase all right and this one which is happening in the humans is known as pathogenesis phase when the organism enters our body so this could be stage of subclinical disease all right stage of clinical disease recovery disability or death now what are these points one second yes what are these points everybody Can you all see me, right? Okay. What are these points? See, this is point A. All right. This point A is exposure. Can you see? Just have a look over here. A. A. क्या होता है? Exposure. All right. What is point B? Look over here, guys. Stage of subclinical disease में point B is pathological changes. Stage C is onset of symptoms. Okay. Stage D is just before stage of clinical disease. This is usual time of diagnosis. And look over here. E. E is over here before stage of recovery and death. Is that clear, everyone? Okay. So these points you must remember. Now tell me which level of prevention can you apply on this stage of susceptibility? The one which is happening in the environment. Here you apply primary level of prevention when the risk factors are also present. And from here to this stage, you can apply which? Secondary, very good. Secondary and tertiary level 
secondary and tertiary level of prevention. So you can have a look at this also stage of susceptibility primary level stage of subclinical disease we are going to find out any person who is likely to develop the disease so secondary level of prevention and tertiary prevention is disability limitation and uh, rehabilitation. Is that clear everyone? Can I go to the next question? I hope all of you understood this question. All right. Okay. Who is this person? So it's like a flashcard to you. Who is this person everyone? Come on quickly in the comment section. Ever primordial level of prevention or there when risk factor is also not present. Okay. Like I cannot allow any one of you to start smoking and drinking. Okay. So we, we prevent the emergence of risk factors also. All right, very good. He is Sir Joseph Bohr. Now, what is he um, uh, credited with? What all has Sir Joseph Bohr done? So, the Sir Joseph Bohr is one of the eminent persons of public health. He gave a committee. What was the name of the committee? He gave the committee. The name was Health survey and what did he say without planning he told development so he gave the committee health survey and development committee very good all right and he also gave certain concepts like how have we learned it like some boring concepts he gave just for you to remember that's how we are saying it he said three months training in PSM okay three months training in PSM now we all know social sciences was a bore subject so he also gave the concept of social physicians all right and he also gave the concept of he was the first one to talk about school health everyone please remember it's not Renuka Roy Sir Joseph Bohr was the first one to talk about school health and also one very important thing he gave which is the 3 million plan is that clear 3 million plan here 3 million plan means 3 million people would be benefited from that plan where at all the three levels primary secondary and tertiary levels we need to provide with the healthcare facilities okay so he can very well come as an entrance exam topic sir joseph board who gave health survey and planning committee anyone who was the second like who gave health survey and planning committee can you tell me in the comment section health survey and planning committee was given by whom who gave the health survey and planning committee health survey and planning committee was talked about by Modalia. Very good Akash. Modalia was an IS officer who spoke about All India Health Services and he said before development let's talk about planning. So he gave the Modalia committee. All right. Okay. What is the target year to achieve malnutrition free India everyone? Don't make a mistake now. I've taught you this before also. What is the target year to achieve malnutrition free India? This is a very important logo for the upcoming examinations guys. What is the target year to achieve malnutrition free India? Not 30. Anybody else? Yes. Very good Rishali, Pratika, everyone. It is 2022. We want to achieve malnutrition free India by 2022. The timeline is 2018 to 2022. Two. Here, uh, this uh, what is the other name of this program, everybody? This is also known as National. You have to remember this. It is also known as National Nutrition Mission. Good, guys. Very good. This is under which ministry? Ministry of Women and Child Development. Okay, Ministry of Women and Child Development. Is this clear? All right. Okay. And Isme, what are we trying to achieve? We want to reduce the prevalence of, okay, reduce the prevalence of underweight. Okay. We want to reduce the prevalence of stunting. We want to reduce the prevalence of anything else, low birth weight. Okay, good. Low birth weight and anemia. So, low birth weight and anemia. In subke prevalence, underweight, stunting and low birth weight. We want to reduce it by 2% point every year. Alright. And anemia, we want to reduce the prevalence by 3% point every year. Okay, anemia is under which ministry as such? Anemia is our Anemia Mukt Bharat. Okay. 
इट इज अ पार्ट ऑफ पोषण अभियान बट इट इज बींग सुपरवाइज बाई मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ हेल्थ एंड फैमिली वेलफेयर वेरी गुड गाइज इज दैट क्लियर एवरी वन शुड आई प्रोसीड टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ओके शुड आई गो ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन गाइज दिस वॉज अबाउट पोषण अभियान वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट लोगो ओके वॉट इज दिस वेयर इज द हेडक्वार्टर ऑफ आई एल ओ प्लीज रिमेंबर वन क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम इंटरनेशनल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन विल डेफिनेटली कम सो दिस इज द लोगो ऑफ इंटरनेशनल लेबर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन दे वास्ट इट बिफोर ऑल्सो टेल मी वेयर इज द हेडक्वार्टर ऑफ आई एल ओ गाइज समा सिंह बी समा सिंह न्यूयॉर्क एनी अदर एनी पर्सन एल्स समा सिंह रोम Rome. Okay, International Labour Organization. Everyone, where is the headquarter? Is it in? Okay, I got a few answers, which is saying it's not in New Delhi. It's not in Rome. It is in Geneva. Yes. Why are you saying Rome? Pe kaun sa hai? Which organization has its headquarter in Rome? Everybody. It is Food and Agricultural Organization. Wow. फाओ का हेडक्वार्टर इज इन जिनीवा ना लुक आई टेल यू समथिंग ओके जिनीवा very beautiful place and it has some of the most important headquarters guys number वन it is WHO number टू it is international labor organization anything else now see all the terms which start with the UN all right जैसे UNICEF जैसे UNDP सबके headquarters New York में है except there is one term which starts with the UN but its headquarters is in Geneva UN AIDS is that clear everyone most of the organization that starts with the UN like let me write it for you UNICEF okay United Nations all right i'll keep showing you the logo in subsequent sessions UNDP everywhere the headquarter is in New York are you understanding except for this UN AIDS which is in Geneva did you all understand thumbs up everyone if you got this concept there is one more organization which has its headquarter in Geneva come on tell me we've learned it in our class classes as well as we've learned it in our uh, an academy classes that i take batao there is one more very important organization which is okay uh, should i tell you anybody all right it is international what am i going to write international labor and the other one is also international red cross very good rishali international red cross so will you remember these organizations whose headquarters are in geneva everybody okay they are a must no dj unicef ka headquarter is in new york dekho un so that is in new york is that clear everyone okay can i go to the next one now all right let's see what do we have yes what is this guys identify the image is this an asbestos glove is this a nitrile glove is this a latex glove is this a lead glove is this a surgical glove what type of glove is this there are three important gloves which i'm going to show you quickly tell me what do you think this is एसबेस्टोस ग्लव है नाइट्राइल ग्लव है लेटेक्स ग्लव है लेड ग्लव है सर्जिकल ग्लव है फॉर फ्यू मोर आंसर्स ओके सो समर सिंग सी डी वेरी गुड समर ऑल्सो सिंग ए गाइज दिस इज एन एसबेस्टोस ग्लव एवरीबडी दिस इज एन एसबेस्टोस ग्लव गाइज लुक एसबेस्टोस ग्लव इज अ पर्सनल प्रोटेक्टिव डिवाइस फॉर हैंड प्रोटेक्ट द हैंड फ्रॉम हीट स्पार्क इलेक्ट्रिसिटी यूज इन स्टील इंडस्ट्री फिर से हैव अ लुक दिस इज एन एसबेस्ट Toss glove. All right, and any other glove that you must know. What are these gloves, guys? What are these gloves? Quickly put in the comment section. Yeah, मुझे बताओ ये क्या है? The one that are most commonly in use. Okay, these are our surgical gloves. Okay, any these are our surgical gloves. Very good. Okay, and where do you dispose all the gloves? Everybody, they dis are disposed in the red color bag. All right, because they are recyclable, blood soiled or not. blood soiled they will go into the red color bag nice ye kya hai i'm i'm sure some of you must have worn leather jackets have you worn leather jackets or not have you worn leather jackets or not you must have seen leather material is very it's something which is like this okay it looks very uh, uh, very uh, uh, like something which is very um, hard which is very uh, 
yes no this one is leather gloves okay pranav yes this is leather gloves just try to correlate it with the tie with the jackets that you want so you can actually get in your question yes shiny shiny was the word i was looking for akash thank you yes it looks like a little shiny all right but the one that can come to you is asbestos and our surgical gloves okay now let's do a psm question from biostats guys a graph showing curves of normal blood sugar level and diabetic blood sugar level is shown below some area is found overlapping in the two curve diagnostic cut off points of 120 mg per dl is also marked so what is this area d can you put in the question guys now look at this side look at the right side of the graph look at the right side this is all the patients with disease so those who have with disease will be true positive as well as this portion c will be false positive okay all right and look at the left side it is patients without disease so patients without this is this b will be true negative and the screening test has also pointed out without disease so d will become your false negative are you understanding everyone theek hai very good this was a simple question although it looks complex but on the right side the screening test has told us all those who have who have the disease so they can be true positive and false positive according to the screening test on the left side it tells us about patient who do not have the disease so they could be true negative and false negative according to the screening test is that clear all right good most of you answered this correctly very nice let's see what is this the following image is disposed in which color bag so every time you will get a biomedical waste question these are the top images that you must know so where is this image going to be disposed of white blue yellow red this is a syringe with a needle so where are you going to put it very good this goes into white color bag because this is a sharp why is it a sharp because it is a syringe with a needle theek hai to ye tumhara sharp mein aayega but everyone have a look at this one now what is this the following image is disposed in which color bag this is simply a syringe all right and where will this syringe be disposed guys syringe kis mein jayega just its plastic recyclable will go into the red color bag is that clear everyone okay next time again i'll give you some questions like this now what is this identify the image what do you think this is see everybody whenever we do images no you must know one image from entomology can come an image from biostats graphs can come one image from contraceptives is expected international organization is expected these are some of the most common topics from where you will get it okay so what is this is it a bed bug is it a heart tick is it a soft tick is it a cockroach is it a mite let me see your answers kya likh rahe ho tum log okay so most of you are saying heart tick b most of you are saying some are saying soft tick i have only got one correct answer over here anamika has written it as a bed bug guys this is a bed bug all right i have shown you the rest of the images have a look over here guys can you see this and can you see this everybody all right look at the legs of this and where can you see the scutum it's not even without a scutum theek hai this is something which is very different are you understanding yes this is a bed bug ye hota hai tumhara heart tick heart tick if the scutum is large okay if it's a large scutum guys it is a male if it has a small scutum see this is a female how have we learnt about this females are shorter in height okay so it has a small scutum males are taller in height so they have a large scutum now look at this tell me what is this everybody in the um, comment section what is this guys this ye kya hai come on quickly what is this what do you think this is put in the comment section everyone waiting for your answers <clears throat> eva very good pratika eva everybody this guys is a soft tick now why is it a soft tick this is not having any scutum all right without any scutum all right so one entomology slide can definitely come in our exams theek hai without any scutum ye dekho what is this everybody can you tell me what is this what is this guys ye kya hai what is this one everyone quickly tell me <clears throat> yes 
go ahead put your answers what is this this is a this is not very good this is a mite guys all right see we had in the option uh, a mite this is a uh, it's it's not very strawberry like but it is a mite okay which i have just shown you over here trombiculate mite okay so this is a mite and bed bugs are small brownish insects that feed solely on blood of animals the common bed bug is cymex lecutellarius prefers feeding on humans it will also bite other warm blooded animals please remember they do not transmit any disease so have a look at the bed bug once again this is the bed bug you all know in hindi what is bed bug called yes bed bug ko kya bolte hai hindi mein anybody knows ठीक है यहाँ पे यू हैव इंटरवल्स लाइक दिस विथ वाइट स्ट्राइप्स इन बिटवीन ऑल राइट सो यू मस्ट टू रिमेंबर दिस इमेज इट्स अ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन ऑल राइट आइडेंटिफाई द टाइप ऑफ स्टडी डिजाइन ओवर हियर व्हाट इज दिस टाइप ऑफ स्टडी डिजाइन येस वेरी गुड सात्विक खटमल बोलते हैं बेड बाग को वेरी नाइस ऑल राइट वॉट इज दिस स्टडी डिजाइन जस्ट लुक एट समथिंग विच यू नॉट सीन और विच यू थिंक इज डिफरेंट दिस इज वीव रैंडमाइज द पीपल वीव डिवाइडेड दैम इन to active treatment and placebo and now what we are doing they've gone they've taken the treatment till here and then what we've done active wale jo le rahe the unko we've crossed them to a placebo site and placebo ko we've crossed them to active site plus we have a washout period here all right this is known as a washout period very good this is known as a crossover trial everybody washout period means this group the one that was getting active treatment and placebo we take them off the treatment for some time and then beta we cross them over so that the placebo now start getting the active treatment and active treatment now starts getting the placebo yes very important it removes ethical concerns the first advantage of this is it removes ethical concerns and what is the second advantage to this that every participant all right every participant is going to get the treatment at least once okay is going to get the treatment is going to get the treatment at least once everybody all right at least once the new treatment did you understand it's not option b it's not rct because it's a type of rct where you have crossed both the groups remember always look out for this washout period all right you will be able to identify a few more questions guys what is this where can <clears throat> where can vitamin a bottle be stored guys at room temperature at plus 2 to plus 8 degree c at room temperature away from direct sunlight at minus 15 to minus 25 think and mark think and mark your answers guys very good very good see this one vitamin a bottle can be stored at yes it can be stored at room temperature but a more appropriate answer to this is room temperature away from direct sunlight is that clear you will store it away from direct sunlight okay this is a uh, amber colored bottle away from direct sunlight it does not require cold chain temperature to store it also see 100 ml ka ek bottle aata hai theek hai and read over here each ml contains vitamin a concentrates 1 lakh international unit okay it is orange flavored so uh, you all know vitamin a this is which level of prevention this is this is so that it doesn't uh, what is vitamin a uh, a level of prevention guys this is basically a method of if you are giving it for prevention at nine completed months it's a form of specific protection primary prevention so at nine completed months you are going to give it along with what at nine completed months give it along with measles vaccine 1 ml very good 1 ml or 1 lakh international unit there after you are going to give it every 6 months okay how much 2 ml or 2 lakh international units theek okay? hai till how many years of age till 5 years of age so what is the total dose that you are giving over here guys the total dose that you give is 9 doses of vitamin a and the total amount that you give is how much 17 lakh international unit is that clear
all right great okay coming to one more mcq what is this malathion spray now tell me malathion spray is effective for one month two month थ्री मंथ और फोर मंथ वॉट इज मैलेथियॉन स्प्रे पहले तो ये बताओ ये क्या है एंटी अडाल्टीसाइड एंटी लार्वी साइड ऑर्गेनो क्लोराइड है ऑर्गेनो फॉस्फेट है दिस वी ऑल नो इज एन इंसेक्टिसाइड बट वॉट इज इट इज इट एन ऑर्गेनो क्लोराइड ऑर्गेनो फॉस्फेट इज इट कार्बोमेट वॉट इज इट वेरी गुड वेरी गुड गाइज सो लुक ओवर य some points about malathion malathion is an organophosphate compound has the least toxicity and it is a good ulv adulticide spray agent is that clear guys all right it is a good anti anti adulticide theek hai least toxic see if something is resistant to ddt you can go on to spray malathion it remains effective for 3 months in 100 to 200 ml square foot for every 3 months okay so the answer over here was 3 months now just for your knowledge have a look at this slide guys ddt if you look at ddt duration of effectiveness is 6 to 12 months it has residual effect for so long bhc lindane 3 months dieldrin all right 6 to all these ddt and bhc are organochlorides theek hai and dieldrin malathion theek hai they are organophosphates look this one is 3 sorry this one is 3 months okay which i have asked you agar kuch bhi resistant hai ddt se you can go on to give this organo um, this one you can go on to give malathion is that clear everyone okay got it now coming to the last question for the day what is this the condition depicted in the figure is due to trachoma vitamin a deficiency foreign body injury or fat deposits what do you think it is if you think it is something tell me what does this figure tell you okay good this is yes absolutely correct this is vitamin a deficiency cornea has liquefied so this is keratomalacia very nice guys very nice see this is keratomalacia the thin squamous lining of the conjunctiva undergoes metaplasia okay this is the cornea has completely liquefied what is this one what do you think is this image guys ye kya image hota hai ye batao ye kya hai what is this one anybody this is also a sign of vitamin a deficiency but ye kya hai now just tell me what is this name it's not bitot spot it is conjunctival xerosis okay this is conjunctival xerosis all right the first sign of vitamin a deficiency this is first sign of vitamin a deficiency all right the conjunctiva has become lustreless it's not at all shiny all right it has lose it has lost its lustres very good and what is the first symptom of vitamin a deficiency the first symptom everybody the first symptom kya hota hai vitamin a deficiency that is night blindness the first symptom okay and the most common manifestation very good the most common manifestation the most common manifestation is also night blindness is that clear is also night blindness but the most specific what is this what is this image this is the most specific guys and what is this most specific ye kya hai this over here is bitot spot okay vitamin a a deficiency is reversible till see before keratomalacia everything is reversible i'll just tell you okay pehle ye image dekh lo this is bitot spot most specific manifestation on the bulbar conjunctiva these are the stagings guys uh conjunctival xerosis x1a x1b is bitots x2 corneal xerosis x3a less than 1/3 of cornea x3b more than 1/3 of cornea so till what stage is it reversible till x3a yahan tak reversible hai is that clear in keratomalacia if it is more than 1/3 of the cornea half or more than that is evolved then it becomes an irreversible stage is that clear bitot spot x2 x3 a is completely reversible x3 b is not reversible guys is that clear theek hai 
All right. Conjunctive. This is Bytot's fault, guys. It's not lustulous. See, this will be spread throughout the eyes. Okay, over here, looking all dull and not shiny. Here, it is foamy pattern like. Okay, this is what is known as Bytot's fault. Is that clear, everyone? Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this short session, everybody, for images. I will meet you again soon today. Uh, Sadaf, we are not going to have the three thirty class today. From tomorrow, again, we are going to have. The classes, okay, tomorrow 9 a.m. I go live on An Academy at 9 a.m. guys, which classes are absolutely free. So do tune in for those 9 a.m. Cl classes. Yes, Prana, bite out spot absolutely reversible here. It is completely reversible. Okay, do tune in at 9 a.m. for uh, you know, free class on An Academy. And if anybody wants to take any of the subscription on An Academy, you can use my code PSM10 or PSM Life. To get a ten percent off on your subscription, ठीक है? Please be safe, everyone. Health is your priority. अभी nothing else. You take care of your health, your parents' health, everybody's health. Okay, and be very safe. Wear your mask. Don't wander out. All right, and um, please be safe. Please explain vitamin A deficiency. Sure, Anamika, I'll just explain vitamin A deficiency treatment. Let us help Anamika with vitamin A deficiency treatment, dear. जब भी vitamin A deficiency तुमने treat करना है ना Anamika, it goes for day zero, day one and day fourteen. Okay, if you have a less than six month old baby, up to six months, okay, you give fifty thousand international units, fifty thousand, fifty thousand. Six month to one year, dear. What do we give? We give one lakh international unit, okay, vitamin A dose, and if it is more than one year okay what do we give we give 2 lakh international unit theek hai so these are what oral doses is that clear namika ye sare oral doses hai agar we usually don't prefer intramuscular but if you have to give intramuscular just do half of the oral dose all right dear okay so understood this is the treatment of vitamin a deficiency all right okay so i will see you again soon please be safe everyone and uh, Take care of yourselves. ठीक है, we are having tough times, but we will definitely get over it. And um, see you soon, guys. Nine a.m. every day on an academy app. All right.